ready to wear pieces in the last spring summer Chanel sale that they had. I did cover that topic in a couple of videos. Uh, they do have sales every year um, on ready to wear items, on seasonal shoes, uh, other seasonal items like scarves, gloves, uh, some costume jewelry as well. Never on any leather goods, but you can get some seasonal items on sale at usually it's a 40% uh, discount and they happen in boutiques all over the world and the selection from boutique to boutique uh, generally uh, is almost the same but sometimes it can vary and uh, they're usually on seasons of the year past so this time around in the spring summer the sale was on items uh, for ready to wear and some costume jewelry pieces some shoes that were from the spring or summer from the year prior so I did pick up a few ready-to-wear garments. I never used to purchase ready-to-wear, uh, but this time around I've started to warm up to a little bit and I'm actually enjoying those pieces so far. For the most part, all of the pieces fit really well. I was able to get you know, my usual size. I'm usually between a, a French 38 to size 40, up top, on the bottom, different story. I didn't even attempt bottoms, it was only tops. Uh, so jackets, uh, sweaters, uh, I got a dress as well. So I'll link that video or those two videos in the description box if you're interested to see what I got. And you can get an idea as to what sort of items you can get. Uh, I think the selection this time around was really good because the you know, the year past, uh, 2020, uh, there wasn't a lot of shopping being done in person and often people will buy ready-to-wear items in person and stores were closed. Uh, so there was probably a lot more selection rolling around in boutiques and a lot more stock that wasn't cleared. That's my suspicion uh, because usually with sales, you know, the, the, the items, the selection is pretty slim pickings, like it's usually stuff that didn't sell. But this time around I was surprised at what was available. So I think that was the reasoning behind that. And this time around the stores were closed when the sale happened, so I couldn't even shop for these in person. I was buying things via photos, which is very risky because these are final sale items. Uh, but the good news with ready to wear uh, and what several sales associates have let me know is that they can be altered. And that's actually a really good point. I mean, if you can't find your size and, you know, if you buy something that is typically, I don't know, maybe you'll get something that's two sizes bigger than what you intended or maybe a size smaller than what you needed. Uh, depending on the style, they're able to alter it really well. So if you are buying something, even if it's regular price, uh, you can always get them to assess how it fits on you and they can offer their opinion as to how it can be altered. And I've been told that typically they can size down something up to two sizes uh, and size up something a size to two sizes up, depending on how much fabric is in there and depending on the style. So there was a jacket that was particularly very big for me, uh, but I wanted to get it. It was the Emily in Paris jacket. Uh, this is something actually that I sourced from the designer cut who's based in the US. This jacket was available in Toronto, but I there was just too much sensory overload with all the photos, and I, I didn't you know I didn't inquire about it on time. And in that meantime, it had sold, so I think it was available in my size, but somebody else has already bought it. And so I was on the hunt for this jacket, and I ended up getting it from the U.S. And uh, that was a really great transaction, and I'd highly recommend using a personal shopper if you are sourcing sale items because you're saving money anyways, and you'll get access to a lot more selection in different boutiques, so that's a good tip I would give. Okay, so let's open up this item. This is the one that I'm a little bit nervous about because I'm gonna have to get it altered, but let's just take a look. So this is the garment bag and that's what it looks like. It just has the name right there and on the back there's like a little pocket. I'm not sure what that's for. Maybe, I don't know, maybe to label it. I don't know. But you open it up and this is the item. Okay, so we were kind of lusting after this. Like this was a jacket it was available here too i'm not sure what size it was but i think it was size 38 or 40 and my essay had sent me this in uh, a lot of the photos and it was a lot of sensory overload so i skipped past it and the designer cut had pointed this out to me 
and so did my sales associate that this is the Emily in Paris jacket. So uh, she was wearing it in green and uh, an will insert a photo as well. But um, that's obviously very popular because of the show. But with this, I didn't really see it. Like I didn't book it. Like I wasn't, you know, paying attention. And when I asked, I was like, oh, that's interesting. Like, um, and then apparently it had sold. So somebody did in, in Toronto did buy it. So that's great for her. I don't know if she knows this is an Emily Maris jacket. So um, this is a size uh, 46. So that is like even, let's say size 40, it's three sizes too big. Um, size 42 is the other jacket. So apparently it can be altered, but I'll take you on that journey with me. Um, if anybody is, interested that's the item code these are the buttons up close and this is from cruise 2020 but this is 100 percent cotton so it's meant for spring summer so i don't know let's try this on it might be too big well it i don't know let's see in the past when i thought things would be too big they weren't so it is it is a bit too big <laughs> I can tell from the shoulders so yeah but that is the jacket and uh, it's got like all the buttons these are all functional buttonholes I don't think these are pot let's see actually if these are pockets functional pockets no so these aren't functional pockets because that would be really funny but um, yeah it is it is too big but apparently it's better to go bigger than smaller because you can alter so yeah so right now it looks more like a you know it, like it, there's definitely a lot of material to work with to take in so I um, don't think it will be a problem to alter it and as my sales associate said there uh, seamstresses perform miracles but there are buttons on the sleeves and you know it's just like a nice long jacket like I think um, the actress Emily I can't remember what her name is. She's shorter than I am. I'm five foot six. I think she's like five three. Uh, so it comes up a little bit longer on her. But the benefit of getting a bigger size is you'll get the length accordingly, right? By size. So I do like the color. I think navy will look good. So just imagine that it's, you know, small. <laughs> and carrying it with like the green trendy CC, I think it will work out really well. So I'll update you guys on the alterations process as well. I'll take you along with me and just let you know how things go. Uh, but yeah, I'm pretty excited about this. Nice thing about getting the bigger size is there's more room at the hips. So, you know, if I wanted to kind of take it in, it won't be so tight down here. So that's a really good one as well. Uh, so I received the jacket. Now it was a size 46. Okay. So I'm usually a size 40 in outerwear so that's three sizes too big and with the jacket if you uh, I'll insert uh, photos here uh, from of Emily of Lily Collins on <laughs> on the show as well as the style it has several pockets so and you know they really go out so I was a little bit concerned about even getting it sized down because there's just so much going on and you know there's proportions to deal with as well the good news with getting something that's bigger is you get more length to work with so uh, this particular jacket looks quite big on uh, Lily Collins on the show like she's swimming in it and she's I think 5'2 or 5'3 and I'm 5'6 so on her it looks a little bit longer and I liked the longer look I don't really like jackets that cut me off at the hips or the widest part of my body because it's not as flattering um, so you know I'd like them to be a little bit longer or you know waist length so uh, this particular jacket it was a size 46 and you know even the sales associates in the US from which this jacket was sourced and even my sales associate here they assured me that this can be altered and that their seamstresses uh, can work miracles that's what they had told me so I was like okay I'm gonna take the risk and I'm glad I did. So I'll show you the jacket uh, because when I mentioned that I was getting this altered, this is my first piece that I'm getting altered. Uh, I did take in the pink jacket that I purchased uh, also to get altered recently. So hopefully that'll be ready in the next couple weeks. But here it is. So uh, it's still in the bag. Um, actually, truth be told, I got this altered 
finalized it, brought it home. I filmed a video for you guys and it was great, but I thought it could be fitted a little bit more. And so I took it back. So now I'm filming for the second time. So it was all nicely wrapped and let's open it up. So the whole process, um, so basically you take your jacket in or whatever garment you have. Uh, and, and for sale items, unfortunately, they don't, at least in Canada, in the US, they will include the alterations. Uh, but in Canada, if it's a sales item, you have to pay for alterations. And if it is a, um, you know, non-sale and if you're buying it at retail then of course alterations is included because hey like it's worked into the price okay so here is the jacket so already it looks smaller <laughs> right it's nicely stuffed and i'll open it so basically i had gone in i took the jacket with me i went into the dressing rooms and their in-house uh, tailor uh, came out and she looked at the jacket on me. And you know, she had her pins and everything, which was really nice. And she was very patient, uh, very detail-oriented too. Like she pointed out certain things that I didn't even put, I couldn't even notice. Um, you know, for instance, like one sleeve was sitting a little bit longer on me than the other. Now that could be due to variations between the jackets, like they're not gonna be perfectly symmetrical, I guess. But also I think um, one of my shoulders does sit lower than the other, so that could be the reason why. But let's try it on. So it's a lot more slim. I'm gonna try this on in a boutique. It just looks better so it goes in at the waist this is it open and it kind of has like a little bit of an a line which is what i wanted because boxy jackets on me don't really sit well with me because i am quite pear shaped so then i just look really big all the way up and down so i like to have a little bit of definition at the waist but this is how it looks now the first time i got it done um, there was still extra fabric in the back and i thought that it should be a little bit more fitted so i'm going to actually just close it up because then you can get the full effect. And let's let's just button it all the way up. I, maybe I might wear it like this. I don't know, I won't button the top button. Um, but you could see, like it goes in at the waist, hits me at a really great length because I have the extra, you know, if you have a bigger jacket, the proportions are gonna be, you know, different. So I'm gonna have a, lo a lot more length to work with. We're gonna do a turnaround. So it goes nicely in at the waist. It's not too tight, it's perfect. Um, this is a jacket I probably wouldn't layer, like this isn't gonna be a winter coat, okay? Because let's face it, it's if it's winter and it's cold, like I have heavier coats, like I do live in Canada, okay? So um, I'm not gonna be wearing this when it's like really cold outside. So I don't really need to layer, but this is gonna be like a nice, fall sort of jacket. Um, you can pair it with some shorts. I'll actually try it on and some tights. I think Lily Collins, it looks longer on her because she's shorter, but she was also wearing like, I think a dress or a skirt underneath. So it, you know, it makes it look uh, longer instead of wearing pants because the pants draw the eye down. But like, it just, it's so nice and it's it just hangs real even before it was like I mean it was big before but it still hung really well. So this is actually a size 46, like the label still says 46 on it, you know. But it's sized to fit me. And um, here's a little peek at the the lining. There is a subtle print. I don't know if you can tell. Let's see if you can tell. There's a little bit of a, a print there. Um, so really, really nice and you know, just like little CC details and all that, but so the first time I went in, tried on the jacket and uh, it was just like, you know, she went around, uh, she pinned everything to me. A tip I would give you and what we discovered was always, if you're going to go for alterations, like wear like a tight fitting tank top underneath, like not a blouse like this, because sometimes when they're pinning, they'll pin it to your blouse and then when you go to take it off, it's like, oh, I'm stuck. So you want to make sure, or, you know, um, for my other jacket, what I ended up doing is I just took my blouse off, put this over top so there's no layer underneath that you could pin to and then they leave the room and then I took it off. But um, So she pinned everything. So basically what she did was like she literally, like the shoulder was out here. So she lifted the shoulder and she pinned it there, okay? 
that lifted the sleeve and then I think this sleeve was a little bit longer so she also took the the cuff and then she you know pulled it up and then pinned it there uh, and then she went around uh, she didn't do anything to the front it was more the sides and there's already pleats here so she just uh, pinned them and I tried to get a shot of how it looked I like to do my own alterations for a lot of things uh, you know now I mean when I was like younger and not in full-time school like I I mean well I was always in full-time school but I mean I wasn't in like you know professional school or anything like that I wasn't in clinic or anything like that I really like to do things and I even sometimes made some of my own outfits and I like doing that stuff but now it's like uh, alterations I don't know I need the time and the patience and I work with my hands a lot at work and my hands get tired like I um, not that I can't do like fine movements, but I, I get achy hands, like I, <laughs> I get achy arms and stuff. So I, it's I, I just I need that downtime. So I usually like I'll I'll get pants hemmed now, and you know it's done. But this sort of thing, no way, I can't attempt this by myself. There's way too much work going on. She didn't have to do anything to the pockets. Um, you know what? I don't know. Are these functional pockets? Like I haven't actually checked. Maybe I should see also another thing I noticed was this jacket like if you look at the top the buttons actually get bigger as they go down I didn't realize that like even look, look here it's small and then it goes gets bigger and bigger I didn't actually notice that like it, it's like an illusion it, it looks like they're all the same size but they're actually different sizes and I like the top one's tiny compared to this one See? It's not neat. I didn't notice that. I didn't notice that until now. Okay, so that's another detail I picked up. But the pockets, um, I don't know. I mean, like, I feel like they, they can be because I can put my finger in there. Oops. Like, it's stitched, but I can get, so I think they are. I don't know, should I rip it? Like, Let me, let me just do a little test. Is there something in there? Hold on. Yeah, it is a pocket. Okay. Let me take this thread out. It's probably not the best way to do this. Okay, so it was a function. <gasps> it's a pocket. Okay, so let me put this thread over here. This is, these are pockets. Oh, okay. That's good. Cause I was like, if it doesn't have pockets and it just looks like, po okay, they're, I know they're all supposed to be functional like buttons, but I don't know. What about these? Okay. I mean, if I ruin it, I know I can get it fixed, but I think this is a pocket too. Hold on. That's a pocket as well. Let's take the extra thread out. Oh my god. This is like a full on utility jacket. I mean, I don't know what I'd put in there, but like. So let's see here. <laughs> this, these ought to. Oh, wow. If these are all pockets, I'm actually really impressed. So. Another, I'll take the threads out. Let's just experiment. Let's see, okay. I don't know if the top ones are pockets. Like this, this is awkward to do while wearing it, but I just, so I could get my finger in on the side, so. Okay, but guys, these are all pockets. These are, I didn't even ask. I was thinking of asking and I completely forgot last time when I was there, but all pockets. Should I try the top ones? This probably isn't the best way for me to open up pockets. I should probably go in and like hand pick out the thread. I'm gonna, I'll take this off for the top one. Let me see. <laughs> um, wow, these are actually, I don't know what the, this is also a pocket. It's a small one though. actually a pocket 
Okay, I'm gonna get some scissors to do this. Okay, so I actually went ahead and did that. They're all pockets, guys. Um, I'm, <laughs> I'm really impressed. Like, I would only expect maybe like one or two at the bottom, but for these to also be pockets, like, that's, I mean, I don't know if I'd use all of those pockets, but I'm actually really impressed that these are all functional pockets. Like, so I guess that's what you're paying for <laughs> with these garments, right? But I really love how it just goes in and out. So basically I went in for a fitting, she pinned everything, and then I was told in two weeks time to come in uh, and she'll do kind of like a, like a, you know, a rough fit. So, you know, she'll stitch everything and I come in and I try it on again and then she'll fine tweak it and then I come back after the two weeks. So she did it. I uh, went in the second time around. She made a few adjustments and then I uh, came in two weeks after for the second fitting and it was finalized and then I picked it up the two weeks after. So six weeks had elapsed and I tried it on. I thought it was great. Brought it home. Uh, and tried it on at home. I, I filmed it. I think I'll insert a, a video of that if I, you know, just to, to compare. But um, I thought it was, you know, that there was still a little bit more fabric in the back for me. So I was like, you know what, can I, can I just get it fitted again? And uh, at that point, I'd already paid for the alterations. And the alterations for this jacket, considering how much work there was, I was actually surprised that it wasn't a lot more. Uh, so I paid $180 Canadian uh, plus tax, so it came up to about $200, almost $200, uh, yeah, close, a little bit over $200. But considering how much work was involved, I was actually quite impressed uh, because, you know, you have to think about it. With a jacket, you have to, like, open up the lining, um, you're working, you're cutting, like, the shoulder area is really hard to work with, too, because you have to get it just right. So um, I'm really impressed with how she did this and I really love this jacket now it's a beautiful navy color um, so I went in for the third time around to get it fitted and then at that point it was like three weeks I had to wait because they were really getting busy but they didn't charge me extra for the additional fitting which I thought that was I mean I was willing to pay a little bit more but they didn't charge me for that it was included in my alterations price and also at the same time when I brought this in for the third fitting I brought my pink jacket in and then she's gonna fit that in really nicely so she understood exactly what I wanted I just wanted a little bit more definition here which I think this is perfect because when I raise my arms it doesn't look boxy it doesn't go straight down it kind of goes in so it's very feminine and it, it doesn't you know because it's a very like masculine looking jacket like with all the pockets and um, so I just want I wanted a little bit more uh, definition but I'm gonna try it on with like shorts and you can see how it looks kind of like a, like a little dressy coat here it is with some shorts if you want to wear like a skirt with it then it looks a little bit more I don't know the proportions it looks a little bit longer it doesn't look like such a short jacket because with pants I think it looks like more of a cropped jacket versus when you wear it with like um, a skirt then it looks like a longer jacket and yeah I'm imagining pairing it with my green trendy CC navy and green make a really really good combination so I'm really really happy with this look so I know I don't look like Lily Collins I don't look like Emily but uh, the green she's wearing is really nice and vibrant uh, navies also I would love to have a green one as well but the navy looks just uh, very wearable as well um, and it was on sale <laughs> like I can't complain but I just I love all the little details on this jacket it's really nice I'm looking forward to wearing this I can actually even wear it now even though we're in like a heat wave but like have it as a light jacket if you're going out to dinner and you and you want to like wear it uh, over like a dress or something like that as a nice layering piece and it's so comfortable like it's not restrictive I can raise my arms and everything like you know some blazers I have they are more stiff um, so yeah so any any house I know that Chanel and Dior do alterations like Dior does them for their bar jackets and I remember I went in to try one on and they really were very detailed with how they would alter it for me. Um, I'm pretty sure Hermes does it for their ready to wear as well. So, you know, don't hesitate. And this, I guess this principle falls for a lot of things. Like even with, you know, even with like items that you get at Zara, okay, um, H&M, sometimes you can, I mean, I know these places can be hit or miss. Um, Zara as well, like hit or miss. And especially when you've got like a pear-shaped body, sometimes certain items don't fit and 
Um, if you can alter things yourself or if the piece is good enough, and sometimes you can find uh, you know, items that you know, have like a great material, uh, it doesn't hurt to you know, get it altered uh, or try altering it yourself. There's loads of tutorials on YouTube, but it can really make something look a lot better. So with the sales, you know, keep your uh, eyes open um, for sizes. If you've got items that are bigger than what you need or smaller than what you need, always ask if it can be altered and maybe you can find something at a great price. Um, the only thing that they won't change is the label, but I mean, who's looking at that, right? This is a 46, you know, but it's sized to be like a 38 and it's fitted to my body, so I really love that. I hope you guys found this video informative and you liked seeing the transformation and it might give you some inspiration to, you know, look outside the box. Uh, you know, it doesn't have to be designer ready to wear, it could be anything else and see what a difference tailoring and alterations makes. I hope you enjoyed this and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.